Hi, Taurus. It is Sunday, October 27th, and we are getting so close to Halloween, you guys. Spirits, what does Taurus need to know right now at the time they're viewing this video? What does my Tauruses that are watching this need to know? My loves, I love you guys. Let's see what's going on here. Um, let's see. I want to grab a couple of these cards first. Spirits, what's going on with Taurus? What does Taurus need to know right now? The nitty gritty, what does Taurus need to know? Okay, so the first card you have is retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. You may feel like this right now, Taurus. You may feel like um, I need a break. I need a time out. I need to just get away from it all. And then you have make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Okay. <clears throat> it looks like you're taking a break from somebody specific in your energy here you don't want to deal with them but um there's not there's a different energy showing up with this make effort all right and then you have express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture huh getting like mixed signals here but i feel like this is two separate energies showing up here um you have financial finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now so apparently financial issues are playing a role here in the situation Spirits, what does Taurus need to know? You have the Hanged Man, Pisces Energy. These cards are so big that they are so beautiful, but they are so big. I'm going to um, pull your cards like this. Spirit is telling me to do this. All right, the next card you have showing up is the Five of Cups. I feel quite literally like you may feel like somebody left you hanging. You have the Nine of Cups showing up here. Something in your energy here is telling me that you feel like someone left you hanging, all right? Someone left you in a very uncomfortable position here. And with the Five of Cups, you're looking at three cups that have been spilled over. So why are there three cups here? With this retreat from the world, Taurus, I'm getting this energy here of um, you feeling like you've not just been left hanging by one energy, but by a couple different energies here. And you have this energy here of wanting to retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. And I feel like this energy right here is connected to this. And be careful of what I see next. You have the Nine of Cups. You may be, you know, trying to um, retreat from the world right now. And you may be overindulging in something. Um, overeating, over smoking, over drinking. There's something over here that I see here that you're overdoing, all right, to compensate for this feeling of loss 
and just wanting to get away from it all just wanting to retreat into behind your walls behind your doors Yeah, now I see, I was wondering why I was hearing that behind your walls, behind your doors. I see, I see you here behind your walls, behind your doors, all right? And I see you here alone. And we're going to go back and clarify the cards. But there seems to be something here that you're brewing up. By taking this time out there's something here that you're doing that you're working on by taking this time out this retreat from the world the next card you have showing up is the princess of pentacles there's these thoughts these ideas going through your head right now these these plans and i'm also feeling like you guys are going to receive some type of message all right and this message is coming in as good news so that you can actually make some type of move all right because the, i really like the six of swords showing up right here because you have the hanged man here where you've been feeling stuck like um you don't know what to do in a certain situation and so that's why it's such an overwhelming situation that you that you find yourself in um here with the hanged man but you guys will be receiving some type of good news that helps you move forward all right with the six of swords and it's showing up in your energy right now i want to grab some kipper cards in this reading for you guys spirits tell me why is the hanged man here for taurus Tell me about this hanged man. This situation involves marriage. There's someone here that you're that you could have been sharing a home with, um, sharing your life with, and you may feel like this person has left you in this uncomfortable hanged man position. Tell me about the five of cups. Despair. Yeah, this is like feeling ghosted, feeling left out in the cold, feeling sadness, like um, the relationship that you had here with these, with this energy, it feels like it's irreparable to me. But this right here, the Nine of Cups, is what I want you guys to be careful of, okay? Because it's like you, you know, when you get to the point to where you feel like this amount of despair and hurt, when you get to this point, um, you're isolating yourself and you're doing something here where you are overindulging in something. And why are you doing this? Um, you have a message of concern. And then you have imprisonment. There's a message here. Um, that just kind of takes you to the next level of feeling imprisoned almost some type of message of concern it kind of seals the deal seals the fate it's like i'm locked into this now someone in your energy they they may be or this could be you taurus but I'm, I'm feeling like there's an official person here and there's imprisonment. Like something illegal could be going on. Someone could be in jail. Tell me why. I don't, I honestly, I don't know what this cup is. Um, 
unexpected income in return in reverse and then you have change all right so something here is changing and it's like you're trying to make something happen um, because something here didn't work out unexpected income is in reverse it's still there but it's being delayed and this changes things in some type of way the next card you have is you have the princess of pentacles so you will receive good good news here taurus but i'm seeing it being delayed so if you receive some type of message here where it makes you feel you know like what am i gonna do now you know you're gonna um something's going to come through for you it's just being delayed and this is it right here tell me why the page of pentacles is here but there the thing is is there seems to be um some type of waiting period here where you feel like you're left hanging but things are going to come together for you you have the courthouse And then you have the child. Look at all of this. Judication. The child. The courthouse. The official person. Imprisonment. Somebody watching me right now. You have a legal matter going on. And spirits are trying to get through to you specifically that everything's going to be okay. Um, you're going to be able to move forward out of this energy into a place where you feel peace. And like, I'm free. I'm out of here. Tell me why the Six of Swords is here. Poverty. And main male. And then you have main female. I'm not sure if this is the same energy I'm going to go through here with the tarot. Again, but there's, there's this energy of main male, main female, and poverty moving out of poverty moving out of a place of feeling lack together or separate sometimes we have to be separate in order to move ahead so let let me just grab the tarot and go through this and see what's going on here taurus a little bit deeper Tell me why the hanged man is here. Why is the hanged man here? Yeah, see the five of pentacles. There's not enough money or you feel ghosted. You feel left out in the cold. And this has to do with your home or a marriage. All right. And then you have this card of despair. Tell me why despair in the Five of Cups is here. The Hanged Man, Pisces Energy. There's your energy, the Hierophant, and the Eight of Pentacles. Something here is a stalemate. It's, it's like, I don't know how to move forward. I don't know. I need to stop, stand back, and observe this situation before I can work on it. The High Priestess and the Page of Wands also showed up right here. Um, there's someone here in your energy that I feel like they're secretly making some type of plans. I really feel like you guys are not in communication with someone right now. <coughs> Tell me why the Nine of Cups is showing up here. The Emperor, Aries Energy, 
the Seven of Swords, the Knight of Swords. Yes, there seems to be somebody has something to do with someone here who's in a pos position of power like an an emperor, a boss, um, an official person, someone out in the community because somebody here tried to get away with something. Even the Page of Cups energy, this can also be someone hiding something, trying to get away with something. The Seven of Swords, someone lying, cheating, or stealing. And it's like someone here is finding out and they're they're coming in heavy and they're coming in strong and they could be very demanding towards you and it's like I, I don't want to talk to you because I don't want my words to be used against me because someone here is coming towards you with some very sharp harsh words and you're you're like not wanting to tell them everything. You don't want this to be used against you. Or you don't want to be stabbed in the back or betrayed. I feel like this is someone that you used to trust. Hmm. Leave me a comment. Look, Let me know what this is. I'll have to look it up in the book. I'm not sure what this is. I know what it means. I can feel the energy of it. It's like I see you going like behind the walls. There's this look of concern on your face. There's something here that you're trying to mix up. Tell me why this changes here. Six of Swords so that you can get out of there. So that you can move forward. The Two of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. You feel unsteady, uneasy about your money and how to make this move. And how to do it alone. Like You, you have this feeling of being alone here to me. The next card you have is the Princess of Pentacles. And I do feel like um, there is some type of legal matter that's going to be resolved or is going in your favor, Taurus. Tell me about the Princess of Pentacles. The Knight of Wands. Seven of Cups. And the Three of Wands. You have the Six of Wands. This is success, victory, crossing over the finish line of some type of chapter in your life here that is showing up in your energy right now that has been um, challenging, difficult. And I'm seeing you here. It's like you're looking out and some type of expectation because I'm seeing that you're going to be able to make this move that you want to make with the seven of cups this is like an email or some type of message that you've been waiting for and it's arriving there's a messenger here tell me about the six of swords You and someone else, Taurus, could have found yourself in a position here um, financially for some of you guys where you felt like you got too deep into something and it had to come to an end. The death card, Scorpio energy is here. And the five of cups, the sadness of it's almost like what just happened? How could this have happened? We love each other. Tell me about this Ace of Cups. 
but there's a third party here that's why three cups have been knocked over spilled over tell me why the ace of cups is here the king of pentacles and the king of wands and the chariot cancer energy someone going off on their own alone Someone stepping outside of the boundaries, outside of the promise that you shared with each other. This is Cancer Energy, the Chariot, but we see two kings right here. And we all embody um, the, the energy of the masculine and the feminine energy within us. And so whichever genders these two kings represent here... Um, there's someone here that invited in new love into a relationship and that's why it spilled three cups over and I feel like the reason this person did this was simply for recognition Tell me why make the effort is here. Nine of swords. And the nine of wands. There, there's an energy here with make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. And with this energy, you're really worried because there is a great love showing up here that you don't want to give up on. All right, you're showing up here as the wounded warrior and very worried about this, but you, you don't want to give up on it. And then express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Spirits, why is this here? The Ten of Pentacles and the Star Aquarius Energy. Look at the hope here that the two of you can, you know, can be back together again. This Ten of Pentacles, this is a marriage. Two people that are meant to be together. Two people that create this Ten of Pentacles together. This is something that is supposed to, was supposed to stand the test of time, this love. But it flipped out of my hands like it's up in the air right now the star comes in after the tower um where you feel like i can tell you guys feel like this is not repairable too much damage has been done you do have this hope though because i feel like there's someone here that you truly love and this person truly loves you but there's so much outside forces trying to separate the two of you that you're both kind of like um, in this vulnerable position where you feel like if it's meant to be, it will be. There's, you know, it's like, how can we put this back together again? It's almost like something happened here where you broke a window into all of these tiny pieces and it's like how do we put all of these tiny pieces back together again something is shattered Aries what does Aries wish to say to Taurus I was hurt by you Leo Leo I have I have to let you go to find myself. Sagittarius. What do you see in me? And I want out. Aquarius. Will this pain ever stop? Libra. I don't want to be alone. Gemini. 
it hurts so much. Taurus. I am stuck in visions of us together and painful memories. Virgo, you've triggered me. Capricorn, I can't take it anymore. Pisces, I wish I could be a different person. Cancer, my life is a mess right now. Scorpio, you deserve better. All right, Taurus, thank you guys for coming in and sharing your energy with me. I love you guys. I love you. Um, thank you guys who have donated to the channel. And um, for being you. And um, for taking the time to like and subscribe. And we'll meet back here again tomorrow, Taurus. Take care of you. It looks like there's a difficult situation going on right now. Um, I do feel like the situation is something where you feel like you like you don't have any control over it. And this could be separate from love even. There's a certain situation here where you feel like, you know, like, I don't have control of this. And this situation that is so heavy, um, it's going to be resolved and you're going to be moved forward. And it's showing up in your energy right now with this. All right, so expect good news to come out of this, Taurus. And you guys will be moving into calmer water that's why your your energy spirits are telling you you will be moving out of this difficult time in your life into a better place where things are calm. I love you guys and we will meet back here again tomorrow, Taurus. Take care of you today. Namaste.